Hi, this is Corey with Cloud Adoption Solutions, and today I'm going to take you through a file upload flow. Um, this recently came up with one of my clients, so I thought I'd share it with everyone out there. Um, basically, what we're going to do is make a flow with the file upload component, and then we're going to create a button on the object where we want to use this file upload component. And um, I'm going to show you how that works. And so I'm starting out in the setup menu, went to flow in the quick search. And I'm going to make a new flow. And it's going to be a screen flow. So here in the flow builder, the first thing we're going to do is open up the toolbox and add a new resource. And we're going to add a record ID variable. Um, the API name has to look like this, so um, case sensitive. And we're going to make it text and available for input. And this will be used by the button to send in the record ID um, to this flow. So we'll hit done on that. And then we're going to add a screen. I'm going to give it this label and then we're going to drag the file upload component over here and we'll name this and give it a label as well and there are a lot of options in here um, this accepted formats you can hover over the little information icon there and it'll give you an idea of what can go in that box um, for accepted formats. I'm just going to leave this blank to allow all formats and allow multiple files. This is true or false. I'm going to say true because I want to be able to upload multiple files at one time. And then this related record ID is going to be this record ID variable that I just created. Um, these other ones I'm going to leave blank. Um, again, you can check the little eye icon on them to see what they're for. Um, but I don't need it for this and I'm going to hit done. So this is pretty simple. Um, of course, you can make this a lot more complex depending on your business needs. And I'll just give it a quick name. And activate this. And then I'm going to go back to set up and then object manager. And I want this button to be on the opportunity object. So I'm going to go into the opportunity object and then buttons, links and actions. I'm going to make a new action. And we'll do flow from the action type. And the screen upload files is the one that we want. And I'm going to call this button Upload Files. We'll save it. I'll go back to the opportunity. And we'll go to the page layouts. And I'm thinking we're using the regular opportunity layout, but just to check, I'll check the page layout assignments. Uh, so for the system admin, we're using the opportunity layout. And I'll go to the mobile and lightning actions and then pull this Upload Files button that I just created onto here. And we'll save it. I'm going to go back to the Home tab here, and then Opportunities. And let me see if there are any in here. Yeah, this is a dev org, so it has a bunch of test data in here. I'll go in just into this first one. And there we can see our Upload Files button. I'll click that. It pulls up the screen that we created with the upload files component. And then upload files, give me access to my file manager on my computer so I could upload multiple files at once. So here it's working through the upload on those five files. Once it's done, click done, and then click finish. And if we did it right, it'll show up in the notes and attachments. 
section on this opportunity. If I have the files related list on here, it would show up there as well. Um, as a requirement, my client wanted this to work for mobile. So I have an Android emulator here and I'm connected to this dev org. So I'm going to go into the opportunities. Um, the recent one is in here. Give it a second for it to load. All right, there it loaded up. I'm going to click uh, the show. Well, no, it's right here. So since this is the first in the list, it's showing up right here, this upload files. I'll click that. Um, same thing, that screen flow gets triggered and that has the upload files component. I'll click that. Oops. And then it pulls up the file chooser on, this is an Android device, um, would work the same on the iPhone. I don't have any files on here, but basically if I did, they would show up here and I'd be able to upload these just like I did um, as if I were logged in from my computer. So this will give sales reps, agents out in the field access to that multi-file upload so they can upload multiple pictures or documents any types of files from their mobile device directly into the, the, the related Salesforce record. That's how we can create an upload files button using a screen flow. Thanks for watching today. If you found this video helpful, please give us a thumbs up and remember to subscribe to our channel for Salesforce related tips and tricks. Again, we're Clouded Option Solutions. Please reach out to us for any of your Salesforce needs. Thanks.